if you're an artist looking to do a cover or you're a dj or producer looking to do a mashup i'm about to show you how you can remove vocals from a song so that it sounds clean sounds good and professional you can even get other parts from the song like the melodies the drums the bass and you can also adjust it to fit the arrangement that you want in your cover song or in your remix so the first step to removing vocals from a beat and get the other part of the song is very important which is getting the highest possible audio quality from that song okay and what i recommend is go to the official artist youtube page all right and then use this website called ytmp3.net so that you can get the highest quality of the song so let's say i want to use the videos and vocalistic champion sound right all i have to do is come to the official page of the song creator that is the video in this case okay then come to the top of my screen this link just copy it okay and then i'll paste it on here when i paste it it's going to ask for the quality so please select the highest quality which is 320 kbps okay and then i'll simply drag to agree and convert the video it's going to take a, a, just a short time then i'll be patient allow it to do the conversion then i'll download it into my pc all right, so I just click download and I can now download it onto my PC and it's downloaded, all right? Now, the second step is the platform we use to rip out the vocals or get the different song parts. There are several platforms you can actually use, okay? We have two which I recommend, okay, for the price, the value and the flexibility and the quality of the audio you get back, okay? There are two platforms I recommend because I've actually used them and I trust them to deliver all the, or rather most of the time. Um, is the first one is Fader, okay? This is website, fadr.com. It's a website. You need to be online. You need to use internet to use this, okay? All you have to do is just drag and drop your song. When you create an, a free account, then you drag and drop your song. And it's going to rip out the parts. And the other version, right, is RipX. Now, this is, you can use free for 21 days, okay? Which you can use to try out. That's all the features, okay? And you can also buy it out um, outrightly if you if you want to use it. You can buy it out for about 297 US dollars, all right? So either one is really good. They work fine. If you don't have $297 upfront, this website does offer monthly payments. You can pay, I think it's about $10 a month. So you can either use the free version of the fader.com or you can also subscribe $10 monthly and you can get unlimited stems and get more from the songs okay but the downside to using the fader.com is that you can download on the free version you can only just upload and listen to the extraction then if you want to download you need to actually pay to download about ten dollars per month which is not bad if you have you know a couple of tracks i recommend you just maybe pile up a couple of tracks you want to extract and then have it here but this way but this app this rip x app is way more flexible way way more flexible more value for your money if you can afford to buy it out for about 207 dollars okay so when you get the rip x deep audio um, software this side looks like so we're going to drag and drop the audio file into it it's going to ask you what parts do you want to extract okay now if you just want only the voice maybe you just want to do you want the acapella only you can select just the voice which will be faster to extract but if you want other parts you can turn them on and then you can have it as stems later on, okay? So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to select all, okay, so that I can rip it out, okay? And also, make sure you select the type of recording to multiple instruments because most songs are multiple instruments, all right? So I'll just simply click rip. So it's going to rip, you'll be patient. It's going to give you the progress bar right here at the top right corner. And this also varies depending on your speed of your PC. If your PC, you know, is old and, you know, not so fast, you may need to be more patient. But if your PC is modern and more specked out, it will be way more faster, okay? So I'm just going to skip this video to the end result. Now, the third step after extracting the song, we can listen to the parts we want. For example, I can reduce the volume of the voice and then we hear just the beats. And then I can bring back the voice. And I can take out some instruments if I want. Let's say I want to have just the drums.
Let's say I want the vocals on the drums. Or I just want the vocals and the melodies. I can also do that. I can take out the drum elements, have the vocals. Now this is just the melodies. This bass. I can bring back the kick drum. So they are all well isolated, okay? And you can even go as far as drawing your own curves if there's some you know um, elements you want to hear properly. This is a very advanced software. There's so much you can do to it. In fact, this software deserves its own um, personal tutorial. And if you want me to make it a full tutorial about this, just this software, please let me know and you know I'll see what I can do about it. Okay, so now you can export it as stem so that you can have more control over it as you know um, in your arrangements, okay? So let's have this back to plus zero dB, okay? So now it's all here. Now if you want to export, all you have to do is come to file, okay? Then you come to exports. Then it's going to ask you, do you want it a single file or separate layers or separate stems, okay? If you want it as stems, so we'll select separate stems, okay? So. We're going to export it as stems because we want just stems and of course stereo and we want all okay and then you can also select the folder you want it to be saved to then of course please export in wave file okay export it as wave file so you preserve the quality all right and then you can click export so now here are the stems all i have to do is just drag and drop any audio editing software you use okay so you see, it's going to name it bass, drums, others, vocals, okay? And if you observe, right, the stem does not show the other layers of the exports right it's not showing the kick drum drums percussions what you can do then when you're exporting you can then export as layers okay if you want those individual parts down to the core okay when you're exporting you can then select separate layers that will have all the voice guitar bass drums kick drum and percussions everything all split apart okay? so if you found this helpful please hit the like button so that people can find the tutorial and it remains so classy hit the subscribe button to keep up with more tips tricks Cheers.